गाइस नाउ लेट अस लर्न द चैप्टर इकोसिस्टम व्हिच इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ इकोलॉजी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई फॉरगॉट टू अपलोड द क्वेश्चंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड पॉपुलेशन व्हिच आई विल अपलोड नाउ सो स्टे ट्यून्ड नाउ दीस आर द सम काइंड ऑफ सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस व्हिच यू नीड टू ट्राई दिस दिस this 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 and this thank you let us start the chapter ecosystem first of all introduction what is stratification stratification is a vertical distribution of different species occupying different levels example to these trees occupy the top vertical strata and the second is shrubs and third is herbs uh, the important components uh, of ecosystem which function as unit are the following they function as units first one is productivity second one is energy flow third one is decomposition and fourth one is nutrient cycling okay the second topic is productivity now what is primary productivity primary productivity is the amount of biomass or organic material produced per unit area over time period by plants during photosynthesis it is expressed in terms of weight that is gram per meter square or ng kilo calorie per meter square now the rate of biomass production is called productivity <coughs> it is expressed in terms of gram per square per year or kilo calorie per meter square per year now the next part is net primary productivity net primary productivity is gross primary productivity minus respiratory rates first of all let's see what is gross primary productivity gpp gross primary productivity is the rate of production of organic matter during photosynthesis what is net primary productivity npp available biomass for consumption to heterotrophs uh, heterotrophs are herbivores and decomposers now let's see what is secondary productivity secondary productivity is the rate of formation of new organic mat matter by consumers the to third topic which we are going to discuss is decomposition decomposition is broken down into following parts fragmentation leaching catabolism humification and mineralization see fragmentation is the breakdown of detritus into smaller particle and leaching is the process by which water soluble insoluble or inorganic one minute let me correct myself leaching is the process by which water soluble inorganic nutrients go down into the soil horizon and get precipitated as unavailable salts now what is catabolism catabolism in which bacterial and fungal enzyme degrade detritus into smaller inorganic substances by the process of this thing catabolism humification humification is the process of accumulation of dark colored amorphous substance called humus that is highly resistant to microbial action and undergoes decomposition at an extremely slow rate now what is mineralization mineralization in which humus further degrades by uh, degrades by microbes and is released and release of inorganic nutrients occur by this process decomposition is slow if detritus is rich in lignin and lignin and chitin and it's fast if detritus is rich in nitrogen and water soluble substances like sugar now warm and moist condition favor decomposition whereas low temperature and anaero anaerobic biosis inhibit this decomposition resulting in the build up of organic material now <coughs> what is energy flow energy flow see first of all uh before going to know about before we have to know about energy flow we need to know a term that is called pa that is photosynthetic active radiation that is less than 50% of the solar radiation is this pa and 2 to 10% of the pa is captured by plants now let us see energy flow how energy flow occurs one is gfc and dfc GFC is called grazing food chain and DFC is called detritus food chain. Grazing food chain is a simple food chain like grass after which the goat eats grass and we man eat goat. But detritus food chain begins with dead organic matter that is saprophytes who start consuming stuff. 
Each trophic level has certain mass of living material at particular time and is known as standing crop. Standing crop is measured as mass of living organism or biomass or the number of un unit area. Number in a unit area. Pyramid of number and pyramid of energy is always upright, but pyramid of biomass in C is generally inverted. Now let us see what are the disadvantages of ecological pyramid. See, first of all, it does not take into account some species belonging to two or more trophic level. It assumes simple food chain, which never exists in nature. Actually, in nature, simple food chain never exists. exists. It exists as food web. That is given away. It does not accommodate for food web. Saprophyte is not given any place in ecological pyramids, even though they play a vital role in ecosystem. Yeah. <laughs> then next topic is ecological succession. See, what is ecological succession? See, first of all, before going to know about ecological succession, you need to know about some terms like climax community and ecological succession. Say, primary succession, secondary succession. Climax community. What is climax community? Climax community is the changes in the environment which lead to community near equilibrium with the environment and is called climax community. Now let us know what is ecological succession. Gradual and fairly predictable changes in the species composition of a given area. Fairly predictable. Say, so, entire sequence of community does successively change in a given area. Individual transitional community are called serial community or serial stages. Succession is a process that starts when no living organism are there. The former is primary succession and later is secondary. Let us see what is primary and secondary succession. Primary succession kind of new cool lava, bare rock, newly created pond, establishment of biotic community over here is slow, obviously. Secondary succession begins where natural biotic community gets destroyed such as abandoned farmland, burnt or cut forest land that have been flooded. Since some soil or sediment is present, succession is faster over there than primary succession. Now let us see the kind of succession in plants. One is Zerak and Hydrak. Zerak is in land and Hydrak is the succession in water, as the term suggests. Okay, fine. In Zerak community, first one lichen, then the second one mosses are formed, third grasses are formed, herbs later herbs, shrubs and later tree are formed. In case of hydrarch, phytoplankton, submerged free floating, reed swamp, marsh meadow, atlas scrub is formed and trees are formed. Here the mnemonic to remember this is students always tell let me get high scores and the first letter of all signifies this and in Hindi if a teacher suggests you some tips in Hindi to get high score that is pele suno fir rato slash samjo rato ya samjo must mark score ya yeah, karoge it's the order okay now trees are also called forest stage which is mesic mesic stage and that is serial stage now let us discuss about pioneer species pioneer species are the species that invades a bad land or an area now let us see what is nutrient cycling See, to understand nutrient cycling, you need to know standing state. Standing state is the amount of nutrients such as carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, calcium, etc. Et that's present in soil at any given amount of time. There are two types of cycle, gaseous cycle and sedimentary cycle. Gaseous cycle is also called carbon cycle, which you did not know so much because it's always present in nature and it's very simple. The carbon dioxide which we breathe and which we exhale and it goes into the atmosphere forms greenhouse gases again it's used by utilized by plant uh, release of oxygen and the carbon dioxide which comes from vehicle all of those but you need to know something about sedimentary cycle which is also known as phosphorus cycle phosphorus is present everywhere even in sea first of all producers are utilized by consumers which when they die detritus uh, digest them and even the little fo little fall from producers are consumed by detritus <coughs> and detritus on decomposition form the soil solution which is taken up by producers and it also by weathering the soil solution is formed by rock minerals and at times the soil solution f 
gets a run off due to bad weather the last topic of our chapter is ecosystem services scientist robert konzanza put a price tag of us dollars 33 trillion a year for all the services which the environment produce, provides us first of all the soil formation accounts for 50% of the ecological services and services of nutrient cycling 10% and climate regulation of wildlife is 6% thank you we started solving the questions which we give on a regular basis in our channel these are one of the mind blowing questions i've tried all of them so remember to subscribe so that you will be notified with the new upcoming videos if you like my effort do subscribe it gives us motivation to make more videos these are the answers happy learning bye bye okay guys if you like my video do hit the bell icon and subscribe button so that you will be notified with all upcoming videos which is fully free and enjoy unlimited lectures thank you